Tuesday's Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. At least it's comfortable out there. If you're going to be out and about for the St. Patty's Day holiday, enjoy the weather while it lasts. But you will notice later this afternoon, the winds are going to start to really pick up. And then a surge of colder air is moving on in. We did have a cold front move through earlier this morning. And that stirred up the air that was warmer up near the cloud level. And that's actually allowing temperatures to feel quite nice at this lunch hour. How about 59 degrees right now in the Red Rose City where the winds are out of the west northwest at 17? And notice the humidity values are starting to drop. So that drier air is moving on in. Takes about two or three hours before the cold air moves on in with these types of cold fronts. Super Doppler 8 is dry, but we do have some peaks of sunshine out there through the clouds. This trend will continue. That threat of rain that we were talking about today that continues to move. Offshore at this hour, so now we're just looking for passing clouds. So the front has moved on through the cold air back up near Erie at this time, so it's just a matter of hours before it starts to move on in here. So, temperatures these are current temperatures, they're actually going to start to drop first into the areas that are seeing the 60s into the 50s. Then down into the 40s for the evening drive time and will continue to fall. Look at this, all the way down to the mid 20s overnight tonight. You factor in the winds, they'll be out of the northwest 10 to 20. It's going to feel like it's in the teens first thing in the morning. So a big change is coming. Mostly sunny skies are expected for tomorrow, but it's going to remain brisk and chilly. Highs tomorrow only make it to the lower 40s. So right now, 59 degrees in Harrisburg, 63 if you're watching us in York, and 61 in Gettysburg. But look at Lewistown. We're now starting to drop to 46 degrees. Sealands Grove an hour ago was at 59. Now we're down to 56. And look at the temperatures 46 in State College. So we've got 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s. So that air is coming in from the northwest. And these temperatures are going to start to drop as we head through the afternoon. And look at the winds right now sustained at 25 miles per hour at Harrisburg, 22 at Altoona. Could get some gusts as high as 35 miles per hour as we head through the day today. So high pressure is building back over the Great Plains, and that's bringing that drier, cold air down from Canada. This is what we're going to have to keep our eye on right now. Back over, I'd say, toward El Paso and right along the Rio Grande is a little weather disturbance that's just starting to form. This is going to work its way up the mid Mississippi and Ohio River valleys over the next couple of days and be on our doorstep by the time we head on into early Friday morning. So watch the clouds, they start to dissipate. Our weather is controlled by that ridge of high pressure over the high plains. We'll move overhead as we head through Wednesday, so that's why things are going to be a little on the cool side. Temperatures again tomorrow only make it to the lower 40s. The ridge of high pressure starts to move offshore. Winds will start to turn out of the southeast as we head into Thursday, but it's still going to be cold. This ridge of high pressure keeping that colder air in place. This rain that's moving through the Mid Ohio Valley late Thursday looks like it's going to be coming in as a rain, possibly wintry mix. Possibly, yeah, even some snow as we head on into Friday. So we're going to continue to watch this very closely. Where it tracks will give us that determination of what we're going to see. Again, most likely early Friday morning. So we drop from near 60 degrees this afternoon all the way down into the 20s. And then we don't recover. Highs stay below seasonal averages for Wednesday and Thursday. And the first day of spring, chance of rain and snow in the forecast. And that does look like a there is going to be a decent chance of that snow heading into early on Friday. That system will pull away late on Friday evening. And then for the first weekend of spring, highs near or below seasonal averages with a few passing showers possible on Saturday. So it's a holiday. If you can get outside, enjoy it for the next couple of hours because those temperatures are going to start to All fall. Because right, you may not for a while. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ethan.